I'm Gloria Strode and welcome to Straightforward. Today we are visiting with our wonderful friends from the Accountability Court, our wonderful community worker, Miss Solomon. Yes. You have been in the trenches for years, I tell <laughs> you. Whenever I win the lottery, I'm going to make sure I send you a, a, an anonymous check uh, because I've seen your work over the years and I always tell people in my other life for 30 years I was a social worker these are thankless jobs you will change lives but you'll never get rich so you know you just have to just keep on and where you help other families to be able to reestablish and go forward that's your reward absolutely because it's definitely not on payday you will not be going to Paris, getting a private jet. None of that will be happening. But just share with our audience uh, what you do for accountability courts. You're one of the most accomplished grant writers that I ever knew. No, and people don't understand that's a lot of work. And, you know, you have to have the skill for that. It's a very competitive thing. And for years I've seen you chase down funding to do this work. So share with our audience what it is that you do. Okay. Well, I am the Director of Accountability Courts for the Chattahoochee Judicial Circuit. Okay. Um, for those that don't know, our superior courts here in Muskogee County um, are part of a larger judicial circuit, mm -hmm. which uh, is comprised of Muskogee, Harris, Talbot, Taylor, Marion, and Chattahoochee County. Wow. That's a lot of geography. It is. Yeah, yes. it is. Mm -hmm. So your fabulous uh, superior court judges here um, actually travel to all those counties. Mm -hmm. Um, but our accountability courts are housed here in Columbus. Okay. Um, currently for the superior courts, we have an adult drug court, a mental health court, and a veterans treatment court. Wow, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And we always hear of the criminal courts, but right. all the work that you and your team, you're doing, we don't always hear about that. No, a lot of people don't know accountability courts exist. Right. Um, it's really been... Uh, pushed by the state. Mm -hmm. The main purpose in accountability courts is to save lives and change lives, but from a financial standpoint for the state of Georgia, it's mm -hmm. to divert individuals from the state prison system. Okay. So, so we're saving the taxpayers money. Absolutely. Right. Uh, right. It costs roughly $51 a day to house an inmate in a local jail or state facility, mm -hmm. and that is an inmate with no medical and no mental health needs. That's just basic. Basic. Mm -hmm. um, when you start adding medical and mental health, you mm -hmm. get well over $100 a day per inmate. Um, whereas all those people with medical and mental health needs can be served in an accountability court for roughly $13 a day. So a major savings. Major savings. For the taxpayer. Absolutely. And that's why these courts are important, and that's why we need to have them properly funded. Absolutely. So we're going to put the money up on the front end to try to save the taxpayers a whole lot of money on the back end. Absolutely. And then we are helping families to reestablish and go forward. Always. Oh, wow. I love that. Um, individuals can be referred to us from family members. Really? From community members. From the DA's office, we've had arresting officers refer mm -hmm. people to our programs. Um, but all of our accountability courts are roughly 18 months in length. Okay. And we, like I said, take individuals who would otherwise be going to prison. Mm -hmm. um, if they are found to have a substance dependence diagnosis, right? Uh, then they are eligible to be evaluated for the drug court. Mm -hmm. If they have an undiagnosed or untreated mental illness which is a common thing very common it's very common then they can be looked at for the mental health court and then obviously any of our veterans who get tangled up in our criminal justice system um, we'd love to take a look at for veterans treatment courts right uh, to divert them because hopefully. a lot of them have ptsd my husband's a veteran my father was world war ii and a lot of them have been deployed multiple times right and then they self-medicate Mm -hmm. And then we end up with just a cycle of things. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to know that you have a team that's looking at that because sometimes it's just them trying to survive. Even in Columbus, if you just go up and down the street, I know some of them still from the Vietnam era mm -hmm. that you might see them pushing a cart. But they were pushing that cart when I was a young girl mm -hmm. because they went to Vietnam and came back. So you all are there to help those individuals and their Absolutely. families. And as they go through our program, 
it's unlike anything anybody's ever seen before. Uh -huh. um, everybody's seen Law and Order. Yes. And all 17 different brands of Law and Order. <laughs> right. Uh, but they all end up in one place. That's the courtroom, right? Exactly. Like where we are today. Right. Well, when you think about accountability courts, I want you to take everything you've learned from Law and Order, Perry Mason, whatever generation Which you're from, from right? <laughs> and I want you to throw it out. Okay. Because it's nothing like that. Okay. When an individual comes to an accountability court, mm -hmm. they come before the judge, um, and it can be they're they're going to plead guilty to whatever their charge is to get into the program right. most of the time. Um, but then every week, that team comes together, right? Mm -hmm. And on that team, you have a judge. Okay. You have a court coordinator. You have case managers. Okay. You have a probation officer. You have surveillance teams. You have a representative from the sheriff's department. Mm -hmm. You have a representative from the DA's office. You have a representative from the public defender's office. So you have a universal treatment plan. And then you have a bunch of people with treatment credentials. We right. are fortunate here mm -hmm. on staff. We have a full-time LPC. Mm -hmm. And then we also have Dr. Andrew Cox mm -hmm. uh, who comes. And those people talk about every person in that program every week. Really? Before any action is taken. So that's team collaboration. Always. Before there's a, a treatment plan that's developed. Correct. So as they go through the program, everything they're doing well and everywhere they need improvement is discussed with all of those people in the room. So that every time that individual comes to court, mm -hmm. we can address those positive behaviors right. with incentives and those negative behaviors with sanctions, but it's done with a whole team approach. Right. And there's a, not a one size fits all. No. And that's the thing with people. Sometimes in America, we think even with our children, everybody fits into this microchip. And that's not the case. So we're giving the attention where we really need the attention. And the biggest on the thing, individual. we also want to thank our judges. Mm -hmm. uh, judge Ben Richardson, this oh, yes, treatment my court. my favorite judge. Yes. Judge Maureen Godfrey, yes. does drug court. Yes. Um, and now Judge John Martin brought back mental health court for our citizens. And our judges have to take time out of their already super busy schedules to really? dedicate themselves to these specialty courts. In and addition to the other workload. It, exactly. Really? Oh, It's a volunteer is... position for them, and so we're really thankful that they put themselves out there for the citizens and to, to really invest in these programs. That is amazing. I'm so very proud of that. I didn't know that was the in addition to. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our break to our sponsors. We're going to bring your team members in, mm -hmm. talk with them, and then we'll bring you back. Okay. All right. Cool. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. Straightforward is brought to you by State Senator Ed Harbison, serving the citizens of Georgia's 15th Senatorial District and on the front lines for veterans every day. Progressive Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1952. The George Ford legacy of high standards continues today. In the compassionate and professional services provided, a touch of dignity for those who care. Progressive Funeral Home, 4235 St. Mary's Road, trusted by generations. Whole Patient Health Care, Dr. Jada Rhymes Bacot is board certified in family medicine. She believes the best patient care includes practical, individualized lifestyle changes. Located at 1338 13th Avenue, Columbus, 706-641-2080 or visit wholepatienthealthcare.com. And welcome back to Straightforward. I'm continuing this wonderful conversation with two more of our team members from accountability courts. They're working so hard helping the people in our community and this team is primarily focused on veterans. Uh, we are here at Fort Moore, aka Fort Benning, <laughs> and we have a lot of veterans. We have people that have come from all over the world and decided to retire and stay in Columbus. Mm -hmm. And so Having this service and this awesome team is very important. Pastor Peterson, you are a veteran. Yes, ma'am. And you were Army? Army. Okay, Army Strong. And you are Army Brat, so we, yes, we know that. Mm -hmm. So explain to our audience what it is, what happens with our veterans, because a lot of them have, you know, PTSD, other issues, substance, because of the many deployments and things like that. So what happens? when they first, because people are intimidated. 
And as Ms. Solomon said, anybody can make that referral, law enforcement, you know, a caseworker, you know, people from the community. So we don't want people to be intimidated. We want them to know about these great services that you have. So what should someone expect when they first meet with you? Well, someone first meets with um, the team, there, there is an evaluation that takes place. Okay. Um, and then once that evaluation is, is, is completed, we sit down as a team. We have approximately 14, 15 individuals on our team, like okay. Ms. Solomon said before. Right. Um, they range from the judge all the way to treatment um, with credentials. Uh -huh. And we take that plan and we develop a track for that particular vet veteran. So each veteran has their own track. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good. And it's based upon what um, is the mental health or substance abuse treatment that they need, whether they suffer from PTSD, uh -huh. anger management, anxiety, and things of that nature. So we develop the plan and the track that helps them with those identified issues. Okay, and so that's just laser focused yes, on our veterans. Mm -hmm. Right, and so all the other things to the side. This team right here, that's what you all are doing daily. daily. Just making sure that you can follow and help them to be successful mm -hmm. in whatever that treatment plan or that track. Yes. Right. And so Pastor Peterson, besides being a veteran and we thank you for your service and being a pastor in your other life, you still have this role and exactly what is your role? My role is the veteran treatment uh, mentor coordinator. You're the mentor coordinator. Yes, Okay, so what does that, what is that? What does that look like? Well, when we get the, uh, the veteran, when they come into the program, uh -huh. they need someone to be able to be accountable. Okay. Uh, for while they're in the program. Uh -huh. It's almost like a battle buddy. Okay. You know? And so what we do is we marry up with the individual, uh -huh. you know, with female or male, and they have someone that they need to talk to maybe during the week, uh -huh. uh, maybe sometime when they're ready to go through something, right. they got somebody they can, can talk to. That's like Alcoholic Anonymous. They call it a sponsor. Yes. S similar yes. thing. Yes. Okay, so all right. It's like a, a mentor to them. Right. So they know they can call up anytime. Uh -huh. uh, I leave my number to all of them. So if they need something, I say, please call me. Okay. I don't want you to do anything that might cause you to get yourself in trouble. Right. And so that's what we're there for mentor to them. And so in turn you are a mentor. Do you have outside mentors and that work with the veterans outside of this team or it has to be a part of the professional staff? For example, in your other life, one of the hats you wear is a minister. Mm -hmm. Do you have other ministers that volunteer to help with this or is specific because you all have in in house requirements? No, what we do we, we recruit uh, other veterans from the outside. Okay, other I mean, veterans right. from the outside of I mean, this team. We try to make sure it's a, it's a veteran. Okay. So that's to, why you said the buddy concept. I just, I just. Right. No, that's but that's a good that's a good right. way to explain it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you've been a soldier and you hook up with right. a soldier, you all have built that camaraderie and yes. trust. Uh -huh. It's a common bond. Yes. Okay. All right. So you hook them up with other veterans. Yes. Okay. And so how do you get those? Is that through the American Legion or how do you all advertise that? Because I want everybody to help him. I want y'all to get a lot of mentors from all professions to help with getting our veterans back. Well, we go out to the community and we speak at different organizations okay. and we let the community know that the Veteran Treatment Court is here because a couple of times I went out to speak, they, they didn't, didn't know. even know that this existed. No, they so we're don't. trying to get the word out more. Uh, uh -huh. In the future, we'll probably have a Facebook page and uh -huh. things like that, so we get the word word out, out on bit. social media. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and so I learned on a sidebar that you received an award. I did, and I'm very proud of that because Thank I know you. your parents, who are very hard workers at church, so I know you were trained up right. Uh -huh. And so, what was that award? The award was the Hey Peroski Award, and it was founded for. The first Veterans Treatment Court coordinator in Buffalo, New York, where the first Veterans Treatment Court was established back in 2008. Really? And it's while standing work in the field of Veterans Treatment. Okay, so I should expect that because your parents operate in excellence. You yes, know, anyone that knows your mother and, and the work that they do in the community and, you know, at the House of Worship, that's just the standard. So mm -hmm. you ha already had a bar. You had to step up to that bar and you got an award. Yeah, a national award <laughs> in, in 
in Houston, Texas. In Houston, this, this Texas. Year. Yes, ma'am. So we got bragging rights. We got on a little bragging rights. Yeah. Right. Uh, but yes, with Miss Solomon and this this team, I, I think that you all bring the, 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 the team. You're bringing every skill set that's needed mm -hmm. to help people be successful. And that's what the goal is. That's the goal. And to help them to be able to what? Go back to the community, to their families. And be productive citizens. And be productive citizens. And mm -hmm. what they say, everybody. Yes, ma'am. It saves the taxpayers. It saves the families. It saves them. It saves them, mm -hmm. you know. And then, you know, having uh, Pastor Peterson on board. Like you said, if people think they're going to make a misstep, mm -hmm. they can call. Right. And then you all help keep them on track. Yes. Right. So, is this free? Does it cost any money? The veterans pay nothing. Not one penny. Not one penny. They just have to show their DD-214 to prove that they're veterans. Because, yes. you know, sometimes mm -hmm. people live in their own fantasy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not judging people, but they really do. So, if they can show that they are have a two, DD-214 and they have served. And it's verified by the VOJ officer. Um, okay, Dr. what's Hyatt. the what's the VOJ? Veterans Outreach. Okay, yes, all right, Veterans nice. Outreach. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but we were talking about those acronyms. So yes, you know when we get John Q. Public, mm -hmm. we don't live in that mm -hmm. world. See, y'all live in that world, and you all are, are are very brilliant social workers. And so I just want the people that's listening that might not be aware of what's available, where they can go, mm -hmm. it, who, what, when, where, how, and why. And it doesn't cost them anything. No, and we got a brilliant team like this that's willing and ready to help our veterans. We got them on the street. We see them every day. Every day. But you all are every here day. to help them in these accountability courts. We are. Okay. And so how can they find you? They can find us. Um, are you like listening? Said, on the government center or how, how are you We're listening? on the government center page. And then okay. You can also call us at 706-225. Three six five seven. That's my office number, or seven zero six three two nine nine three seven eight. That's my direct sale mm -hmm. number. And we're in the future. We should have a Facebook page. I'm mm -hmm. working with uh, Judge Richardson now okay. to try to get that um, online. And then also, um, we're looking to do some more things in the future. And the get, community in outreach. The community out. Okay. Well, I want to be a part of that because I want my husband's a veteran, my daddy was a World War II veteran, and I love the veterans because they sacrifice a lot to keep us free. And freedom is not free. It is not. We can't thank you all enough. But what we're gonna do now is go to a break to our sponsor and we're gonna come back with Ms. Solomon. Thank right. you so much. Thank you. thank you. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. Adjuster Source 101. Sign up today for the Insurance Claims Adjuster Virtual Course. The All Lines license allows an adjuster to work claims in residential, commercial, inland marine, ocean marine, and workers' comp, Georgia property and casualty, Alabama property and casualty, and additional states. For more information, call 470-724-1050 or info at AdjusterSource101.com. David Benefield at the historic Highland Hall. Florist extraordinaire, making dreams come true for all occasions. Visit David and his team today at 1504 17th Street or call 706-324-4881 where happiness blooms. The Columbus Memory Center, 7196 North Lake Drive, Suite A, Columbus. Dr. Jonathan Liss is a board-certified neurologist and sleep specialist committed to battling Alzheimer's by preserving independence, offering you the opportunity to get your memory number for free, the only vital sign for brain health. Call today at 706-327-4000 or visit columbusmemorycenter.com. And welcome back to Straightforward. I am enjoying this very, very important visit with Miss Solomon and my wonderful Mr. Kersky. His family are just great, honorable, hardworking people. I can speak on his behalf. I'm so very proud to see you in this work. Uh, you're brilliant enough to have been somewhere making a whole lot of money, but this is very much in line with who your family is. Your sister is this wonderful teacher. Yes, with all your brilliant nieces. And so I just, I know what your legacy is. And I can see you in this work. And bless your heart, you've been in the trenches so long. I watched you on council trying to get funding to continue these programs. 
And I want our viewers, if you're if you have a family member that have been benefited or the recipient of services from this accountability court, I want to make sure that you tell your council representative. So when it's time for the budget and funding, and I'm speaking as an old social worker and I can do that, make sure that these services are not underfunded. Right. Yes. And how many people you have on this team? I, I must be at least 15. There's about 15 on each of the teams, um, and, and quite a few serve on multiple teams. Okay. Um, you know. I mean, regular staff. Regular staff, we have 24 staff currently okay. in the Accountability Corps office. Um, that includes our intern program. We've been really lucky to get some great interns from Troy State University. Oh, wonderful. Doing their master's in clinical mental health. So we so do. that's a good thing. That's good to know. So folks yes. that need that, this is a good place. And we take interns from other schools as well. We've okay. had some from Simmons. We've had USC, USC. Um, College of Social Work. And we um, should have some from the Albany State University. So we will pass that information on. Please yes. do. We have yes. Dr. Andrew Cox works with us um, here. And he is actually licensed to supervise both uh, counseling students and social work students. He's really? an LPC and an LCSW. Okay. So okay. Um, so he has all those credentials. And all of them. All of them. <laughs> all the letters. As my friend would say, all the alphabets. Yes. All the all yes. alphabets. Yes. That is wonderful. Yes. And so all over the state, mm -hmm. you are able to work across county mm -hmm. lines because some programs are just specific to a county line. Mm -hmm. People are transferring and moving, mm -hmm. and then they, the services drop off. And then they have a setback. But you all have this network. We do. Wow. And what about the VA? So you partnered with the VA? We partnered with the VA and we utilize the service that they can provide um, based upon the discharge of the veteran. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, for if you say you're a veteran, everything we must have documentation. So we need to have proof of your DD-214 so we can make sure that you are eligible for services. And I say that in a kind way. Because yes. sometimes, you know, people lose track of things, especially those that might have mental health or substance. And so if we can have all the proper paperwork, we got the best team in Muscogee County in the Chattahoochee Judicial District, which are what are those counties again? Muskogee, Harris, Talbot, Taylor, Marion, and Chattahoochee. <laughs> That's, that is a social studies test, but no, really, it, but no, that's important because in a lot of our adjoining communities, they're rural, so there are not a lot of resources there, Correct. and we are in the second congressional district, which is one of the poorest in the nation, so some, we have a county not far from here, they don't even have a grocery store, so we know they don't have these type of resources, mm -hmm. but they are eligible because they are in this district, mm -hmm. right? And so who are our judges again? Because I was so shocked when you said to me, this is in addition to their regular workload. I'm thinking, where are they sleeping? Because with regular court, they're up reading all times of day and night. Mm -hmm. So they're making time for the citizens Absolutely. to work with you all. Absolutely. And so who are those judges again? Judge Ben Richardson wow. with the Veterans Treatment Court. Okay. Judge Maureen Godfrey, she's wonderful with the Adult Drug Court, mm -hmm. and Judge John Martin with the Mental Health Court. His dad was amazing. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. And we got people that's vested. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They they understand the bigger picture because mm -hmm. sometimes with services it's just like going to Walmart. Now, hey, no Walmart, but this is not the Walmart experience. Mm -hmm. We are personalizing it, and we are putting people on the track. And we have the support services to keep them on the track the best that we can to help them be successful. Yes, it's not a self checkout. Oh, I love that. See, ooh. they say, oh, you show okay. that one, that one now. Yes. It's not self checkout. It is not. So, this is not that experience. No, no. no. So, this is the Nordstrom's experience. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ralph Lauren. This is a Ralph Lauren experience. No, because you all work very hard. And I just want it today to share with the community what it is that you all are doing. Uh, Judge Richardson did share with me. He said, well, what about that? And I didn't know enough about it. And I should, because in my other life for 30 years, I was a social worker. Okay. So if I didn't really know, I know a lot of the people that I know don't know. But we're going to do our part to keep 
that message out and how people can, other veterans can be mentors and then other community organizations that might can support you in what you're doing. So you said you had a message from the judge for me. I do. We have um, a challenge coin. Okay. We present these coins when a veteran completes the program okay. and get their certificate. So we wanted to be able to present you with one. We had these designed. Okay. Also, uh, they're rarely, they're really new. Thank very, you. Yeah, very new. Oh, I love being first. So let me he knew that about me, it. didn't he? <laughs> and maybe you can show the viewers uh, yes. later on. So we oh, can open goodness. this front and back. All right. This is wonderful. And when I had Judge Richardson, and we'll make sure we get a good camera shot on that, he, on my show a few years ago, they actually, some young men he helped in court, they flew a flag in his honor in Iraq. Oh, wow. See, he'll never brag on that. But okay. see, I can brag on my friends, because like I'm bragging on your award. And my dear friend here, who's been in the trenches forever, as mm -hmm. soon as I can find a million dollars, I'm going to get that to her. <laughs> I've seen her stand at the podium at council and really work yes. hard to get the money. But I want to thank you all so much for doing this. I appreciate what you do. I know what it is to be a social worker and take nothing and make something. So this team and, and Pastor Peterson, with your leadership, excellent, one of the best grant writers in the Southeast United States. Definitely. Yes. I thank you. Continue to fight. Thank you. Even when you get weary, you need a cheerleader, just call me. I got you. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye. Yeah, thank you. This has been straightforward. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Until next time, be blessed. What up, world? What's up, Columbus? Be sure to tune in every Sunday, straightforward with Gloria Stroh, right here on NBC 38.